Well, this is the weekend set aside all across the nation to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In Erie, the celebrations kicked off tonight with the annual Dr. King Awards Dinner at the Bayfront Convention Center. Yeah, the event not only honored local organizations working on carrying out Dr. King's vision in Erie, but also got inspiration from a national keynote speaker. Tom Kowalski was there tonight. Tom, what was that main message that you heard this evening? Lisa and Isaac, the Martin Luther King Center in Erie held its 12th annual Dr. King Award Dinner earlier tonight, bringing together fam family, friends, and a community under one roof. While many may be using Martin Luther King Jr. Weekend to stay home and relax, for others in Erie, such as the MLK Memorial Center's James Sherrod, it's a time of somber reflection and unity at their annual Dr. King Award Dinner. I think it's a time for us to reflect, to reflect on the civil rights movement, to reflect on Dr. King's message, uh, to reflect on um, just being able to come together as a family, being able to address issues within our community. So what are some of the biggest issues facing Erie today? We've been addressing this year youth violence within our community. We've been addressing poverty within our community. We've been addressing the lack of economic development in our community for minorities. and so. I believe that uh, being able to uh, train young people and bring them up to be the guidance as we grow old and make and take over, you know, so being able to uh, have this event and to celebrate the King holiday means a lot to us. The event invited local Erie organizations as well as Albert Dotson Jr., vice chairman of the nonprofit 100 Black Men, which recently opened a chapter in Erie. We uh, have over 100 chapters, all of whom are focused on mentoring young people in their communities in four areas, education, health and wellness, economic empowerment, and leadership. And Dotson says the country is faced with a big decision going forward. We could take one of two roads. We could give up and say it's, it's been so long, I doubt it will ever change, or recognize the incremental movement that has taken place and then together we can actually make that movement uh, even greater. Three local organizations were recognized tonight for their role in the making of that movement greater. Erie's Black Wall Street, African American Concerned, Cler Concerned Clergy, and Elevate Church. Live in the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.